Right, in this video we're going to be replacing the pulls and the pull springs in the planet cage. Now the planet cage is the one that normally has the pinions in, in this slot just here. Now there's two, two pulls, as you can see from underneath, one just there and one just there. Now what you need to do is have on hand a pair of tweezers or narrow nose pliers, whatever works best for you. Now place it down on the bench with the pole to the right and the planet slot to the left and push this pin halfway out. Okay, that's halfway out. Now the spring kind of wraps around the pin there and comes forwards towards us here with the bent tag of it or the tang underneath the pole and that usually pings across the room so what you ideally need to do is either with a narrow pair, pair of pliers or tweezers whatever you prefer my own preferred method is just, you just to sort of cover it from all angles with my fingers and then pull the pin all the way up very slowly now when I release, I should be able to catch the spring with my fingers, and I'll show you that in a second. And the pull will just fall out. Now, there is the spring. There's the pin, and there's the pull. Now the spring, as you can see, is an R shape, with a little tang pointing vertically up from the surface here. Now we need to inspect the pull for wear and again just like on other videos about the uh, pinions the wear generally shows up as a, as a nice shiny silver part making life easier. Now as you can see on this one there is a bit of brightness just there but it's not excessively worn this is still a perfectly good pull. Now you'll notice that one edge is rounded and one is flat other than a corner cutout that's designed in. So we'll slide those off to one side and then we'll go to the other one and again push the pin halfway up and get ready to catch the pin, the uh, spring. release and there's the spring and there's the pull. <coughs> Again this one's in fairly good condition, perfectly usable, so we'll get ready to put it back in. Now viewing from the top the pulls always point in a kind of a clockwise direction. So my preferred method is to lay it on its side bottom of it on the right and you've got to lay this this pole on with the flat surface pointing towards you or if you find it easier because you want it to go to the right face it away from you put the flat top surface to the right and just drop it in the slot and get one of your pins. Now you'll notice that these have a rounded end. Hope you can see that on the video. And the rounded end goes in first. So coming in from underneath then, we'll put the pin in just halfway through. Now we need to take one of the springs and we're going to hold it across that 90 degree bend. If you put your tweezers at about 45 degrees so that you're gripping the upright part and the horizontal part, grip it nice and tight. And what we've got to do is we've got to slide this in what to us is now the underside of the pole and push both halves of the spring underneath until it lines up with the hole.
and then you can push the pin all the way in and when you release that should be good to go over to that once more on the other side then so you get the pole a flat top surface in your right hand and your right fingers drop it in the slot Take the spring, and grip it across that right angle bend, and then, oh, forgot to put the pin in. That's because I haven't watched the video, I'm only making it. Slide it in. Doesn't always go first time. Let's readjust. Slide it in underneath the pull until that loop meets up with the with the hole, and push the pin all the way down, and release the tweezer. And there we go. So. That's all there is to it. Putting the pulls and pull springs into and out of a planet cage.